We can set up a trigger soon as a WhatsApp order has been received from the WhatsApp native e-commerce. In order to do so, we can just go towards the starting node of a flow, press add trigger, and from here, scroll down until you see WhatsApp order received. We can press this, go and edit it, and now you will see that we can access the order details from the system field order. We can also save the context to the user field message. So let's say, for example, this will be order, uh, and let's go with details and save this to text. Let's enable the trigger. And now also, let's see if we can go ahead and fill in some order details. Just a simple one product order, which we can do by typing in the order product name. And again, we are just going with one single product name. If you have multiple, you might want to use a JavaScript to loop through the different kinds of products. Let's say this will be product name one. You ordered. And then let's go with product name. Let's go with subtotal. Let's go with the order system field again. We can go with the subtotal. And then last but not least, also give the total. And let's go with the order again and give the total pricing. And last but not least, your order ID. And let's grab that from the order system field as well. And here we go. We're now ready to test out this specific trigger. Make sure that the trigger is enabled to active. Otherwise, the trigger will not send this message. Let's go towards the phone and let's order one specific item. OK, so now let's go towards the store. And let's say we are going to order this rucksack. Let's say add to cart. Perfect. Now let's say view cart. And let's say place order. If all goes well, we should now also receive some order details. So let's take a look. As you can see here, product name, Rocksack Travel, subtotal 4896, total as well, and your order ID. This is how you can use the WhatsApp order receive trigger to automate the rest of the process. For example, if you want to set up a custom payment gateway, you can easily do so after you receive the order. Upon payment, you can set the order as paid and the user can receive their products.